Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over the top 10 worst films that I saw in 2023, so stick around. So today I'm going to go over the top 10 films that were released in 2023 that I did not care much for or that I just did not enjoy. Um, these are some films that are highly regarded and some people just love these films. It's probably a lot of number one picks for some of these films in some of your collections. Um, but these are my top 10 films that I just did not enjoy. So don't give me too hard of a time about these. It doesn't mean that the films weren't good. It doesn't mean that they weren't well directed or well acted. It's just films that I just didn't really care for that I watched. So coming in at number 10 is Oppenheimer. So I know a lot of people give a lot of praise for this film but I just did not like it. Um, I don't know what it was about this film that I didn't like. I know that the theater experience that I had during this film was terrible, which may have led to me not liking it as much, um, but I just didn't really care for this film. So that's the reason why this is at number 10. At number nine, that is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I thought this film was very dull. Um, it wasn't as fun as the other Ant-Man films were. It was really dark, and I don't know. I just did not like it. Um, so for, for whatever reason, I just didn't care for this film, and that's the reason why it's at number nine. Okay, at number eight is a film called Barbie. I didn't really care for this film. I did see this the same day that I saw Oppenheimer, and so I had already had a bad experience with Oppenheimer. Then I went directly in and saw Barbie. I, I do like what they did with the world of Barbie. I thought that looked really good. Um, some of the aspects of it looked really cool, but I just didn't care for the story. Um, I think Margot Robbie did a perfect job as Barbie, and I think Ryan Gosling made a, a great Ken. But as far as the film's concerned, I just didn't care much for it. So that is the reason why that's at my number eight. Okay, at number seven. Um, number seven was really hard to decide on. But remember, I'm going from the best of the worst to the very worst. So at number seven, I'm choosing Infinity Pool. This is a film that I really just couldn't get into. There were some really there's some really good aspects to the film that I liked. The visuals were great, but I just didn't care much for this story, and that's the reason why I've cho chosen this one as my number seven. Okay, at number six, I'm going with Sympathy for the Devil. Now I did watch this one the past about a month or so ago. Um, it was okay. It wasn't terrible, but I did find it to be a little bit too long, and I um, didn't really care much for the characters. And so, for whatever reason, I just didn't care for it, and that's the reason why that is ranked at this level. Okay, at number five, this is the film that I saw in the theater, and that is Bo is Afraid. Um, I saw Bo is Afraid in the theater, and it just kept going and going and going. It was way too long and really hard to follow. I think Joaquin Phoenix did a great job playing this character, um, but the story was just all over the place for me. I just couldn't keep up with it. So I didn't care much for it, and that's the reason why I chose this as my number five. At number four, which means this is worse than number five, that is Asteroid City. I just did not like this movie. But this film, I just couldn't get into. It was kind of weird. Um, I don't know, the visuals of it. Th there were some good aspects to it. The visuals were good. But not all of the visuals were good to me. I think there were some weird parts to it. I didn't really care for it. And that's the reason why this is at number four. And number three. So number three and number two. So number three and number two were really, really hard to decide which would be number three and which would be number two. But I selected Skinner Marink as my number three. This movie was weird and boring and long, way longer than it needed to be for what it was doing. Terrible movie. I just, I, I don't know what to even say about it. Uh, it was very boring. It, I can't believe I sat through and watched the whole thing, but I did. I do not recommend it. It's number three. At number two, again, I said number three and number two were really hard to decide, but number two, I decided to go with Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. 
I did not like this movie at all. It reminded me of some other terrible films that I saw during the year. Um, this Pooh character was, I don't know, it was just weird looking. I don't know what they're going to do with this sequel. I just didn't care for it. It felt very um, cheesy and grimy. I just didn't like it. Um, there were some good kills. I do give it that. But overall, this would have to be my number two. My number one film is probably no surprise to anyone that knows my channel. And that is Kill Her Goats. I hated this film. It was so bad. I sat through the whole thing because I do I do watch all the films that, you know, I, I don't just cut off the TV or walk out of the theater when there's a bad movie. But I sat through this one. I will never sit through it again. It was terrible. I do not recommend it. Of course, this would be my number one. So those are my top 10 worst films from 2023. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my ranking. Like I said before, this doesn't mean that all of these films were bad. It's just the, the films that I just did not enjoy. But also leave me a comment below. Let me know what your top 10 worst films were for 2023. And if you agree with some of my picks, because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. Below. But thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.